What is up guys, it's me the Gaming D and welcome to the first episode of the WWE 2K22 Created Superstar Showcase. In the first episode here, we're going to be doing some custom superstars. So it's whatever people just off the top of their dome piece just think of and want to create whether it's them trying to replicate themselves in the game or maybe what they want to be uh, or maybe just someone that they saw or someone famous you know it it could be anything literally anything maybe just a wrestler that they just want to make the coolest looking professional wrestler that they can we have eight superstars in this first episode which is great it's really great one thing i want to say before we get into uh these superstars is if you do want to submit superstars on the community creations use hashtag the gaming d doing that i will easily be able to find your superstar now when it comes to notifying people on you know whatever superstar that i show case uh before i used to strictly do it on playstation now the way that the whole thing is <laughs> for uh the community creations it's cross-platform so playstation xbox pc you can find everything on all of those it's literally a, a whole community now and uh it's crazy now the way that they do it they they have like a 2k profile but i'm not able to contact anyone uh when it comes to this stuff and sometimes your contact or your 2k uh account or username unless you've changed it to what your actual gamer tag would be uh it could be weird so in this episode it's whatever the gamer tag or 2k account name is uh, going forward uh, i will make sure to put in the video whether it's playstation username or it's going to be the the 2k username if it's on playstation and it's listed on there because uh, some people have that linked to their account like i have mine linked to my account uh, so if you post with that linked to your account it will show your 2k username and it will show your playstation one if you do have playstation i definitely will message you and let you know that you're going to be in a video so just just so you know that <laughs> just so you know if you're on pc or xbox just try to link something uh because if you can then uh, i'll try to contact you on one of those but with this video we're going to do strictly whatever the 2k username is but enough with this long freaking intro i hope you guys do enjoy this video if you do please leave a like comment and subscribe go find some of these superstars and download them for yourself and uh, let's get into this with what I picked for superstar number eight now with superstar number eight we have CSD blue or C dollar sign D blue by a massive lover KO now with the superstar he kind of looks like he's literally straight from the hood like not to be weird or anything but just the way that he's uh, dressed he's got you know the baggy pants with the the holes all in them you can see the long johns he has underneath him uh, he literally has knee pads over his pants his hands are all taped up and then you go on to his entrance attire and he's over here rocking like this big leather jacket he kind of looks like sam b uh that was kind of my first impression if you don't know sam b the dead island games he was like one of the best characters and most memorable characters of that game. He was a rapper. You know, he kind of dressed exactly how this guy is dressed right now. You know, with the gold chains, like the big leather jacket. It looks really, really good. So thank you so much for that. And let's get on to Superstar number 7. Now with Superstar number 7, we have a Darkness Intent by Swiss Lord Shipper EU. Now, it's kind of like a ninja. This kind of gave me the vibes from the... I, I can't think of the Marvel movie. The <laughs> I, I don't know what it's called. Something in the Ten Rings. Shang-Chi Shang in the t Ten Rings, I think that's what it's called. Uh, it kind of gives me that vibe with the... Uh, like the... the kind of like the the print that's on his top it's red and black again one of my favorite combinations because it just looks so good and he has just this killer mask on yeah he, he kind of looks like he belongs in a psych ward a little bit uh, but i really like it the answer's attire he does have like a, a little vest with a hood so he's a little more hidden but he definitely does give me 
kind of like a ninja slash Japanese assassin vibes. So thank you so much for that. And let's get on to superstar number six. Now with superstar number six, we have Josh Edwards created by Tragically. I think that's how you said the name <laughs> but uh with this character he gives me kind of like the alistair black or malachi black vibes uh his first attire here i think he only has one attire no he has two i lied <laughs> uh <laughs> that laugh i can't uh but uh yeah he's covered in tattoos it's very very like demonic like when it comes like skulls like just death death is coming upon him he's very pale you know it looks like his eyes have just kind of been burned out of his head he's wearing all black and with his entrance attire he's got this like kind of like half a mask thing but it's like devilish because it has devil horns on it uh, and then he has like this i don't know what it's called like a robe maybe uh like a cape kind of with spikes on the shoulders which looks really cool and uh the second attire it's literally exactly the same the only difference is they added some blue accents onto the gear so on the pants the gloves and then the entrance attire on the uh the shoulder pads uh, there's a little blue on there uh and then the the mask there's some blue stripes going on on there but i really like it it looks really cool so thank you so much for that, and let's get on to Superstar number 5. Now with Superstar number 5, we have D Diego Reyes, created by Fighter Show. Woo! This guy immediately brought me to Street Fighter vibes. He kind of looks like Scorpio. He's literally wearing a full one-piece yellow and black suit, uh, as Scorpio would. Uh, he's kind of got, you know, tats on the arms a little bit. And then his entrance attire for it, uh, he's kind of got like a, like the Miz jacket thing on going on, but it's strictly all black. It doesn't have any of that goofy stuff that the Miz has. Uh, and then he's wearing like, this, this mask. I, I can't think of like the, the serial killer or whatever that I'm thinking of, but like there's a famous picture of him wearing this mask that's just preventing him from like speaking. And all you can hear is like muffles through the little holes and yeah, that's what it kind of makes me feel like. <laughs> but uh, with the second attire uh, on here, you do, it's strictly all black. Yeah, it went from yellow to black to only black. And it's got kind of like a, a carbon fiber uh, look to it. Uh, and the entrance attire for it, I mean, yeah, the entrance attire for it, I'm sorry. It's the same thing as the first one, just the only thing is he doesn't have that jacket on. He's literally just the black attire with the mask on, and it, it looks really good. So thank you so much for that, and let's get on to Superstar number four. Now with Superstar number four, we have Jeffe, I think that's how you say it, J-E-F-E, -E, uh, created by Big Striker It. Now this is a luchador right here. He's a little heavy scent, not gonna lie. He's a little thicker in the waist, and he's got some freaking massive, you know, trunks for arms, but it looks really cool. Like, you did a really good job. It, it gives me the rocker vibes, how the, the pants go for this attire with the, like, stripes and stuff on the side, but it's it literally has, like, this rainbow effect going through the attire. Even with the mask, like, I don't, I don't know, man. People just make stuff looks so damn good in this game first video i'm definitely still impressed like people were amazing in 2k20 and that game had so many problems this game has almost zero problems and you know people are going to town and uh i like this i like the luchador look i like the mask it's that's one of the masks that i enjoy using when i create superstars in the game but yeah it's it's a nice like red themed attire with the like rainbow effect uh, going throughout it and it looks nice it pops so thank you so much for that and let's get on to Superstar number three. Now with Superstar number three, we have Omega Red, created by Iceman Sub-Zero. If this isn't a Viking, then I don't know what a Viking is. Uh, he's got like these wooden, it looks like wooden, things on his arms to kind of like protect them. He's got, you know, the, the kilt on. He's got the like the woolly mammoth boots going on with teeth hanging off of them. He's got this long red hair with this r long braided beard and he even has the signature face paint on and he's a big dude he's a hairy dude too he's got a lot of back hair 
a lot of chest hair, uh, even on the back of the arms a little bit. It looks really nice. I like the look of this, and I love the fact that they added the ability to have giant beards in this game. It was something that was missing for years, and I'm so glad that they, uh, they did this. So thank you so much for that. And let's get on to what I picked for Superstar number two. Now with Superstar number two, we have Septimus, created by Mrs. Disaster LTD. I don't, I want to say this is like someone that is in the 300 movie, but in the future. <laughs> it, the, the type of armor that it has on is crazy. Now, instead of lions on the uniform for the kingdom, I, I don't know what it's called. Maybe the kingdom, how they used to represent, like, you know, lions, have them, like, two of them on there. Uh, but this has deer instead. So this might be, like, a Canadian warrior, <laughs> you know? Uh, but yeah, it has, it has really, the one thing I don't like about this is it has a really small feet. Like, they're just, they're kind of squished. I don't know, I don't know why, but the attire looks amazing. Again, people with red and black. That theme fits perfect. And they made sure to, with the specific materials in this game, using on, like, the, the attire, they make certain things shiny to make them look metal. And on the the wrist guards i'd say you'd call them wrist guards they actually look like metal they look really good and with the entrance attire on top of that crown that he's wearing like the whole time now he has this giant like king's cape with a giant like it's like he put an entire like fox just on his neck or like a wolf just laid him down on his neck like there's there's a lot of hair on that thing <laughs> but it looks it lo really really good and uh yeah it just gave me like the the 300 vibe like the spartans and I'm, i loved it so thank you so much for that and let's see what i picked for superstar number one now with superstar number one we have a nick gauge i think that's how you say it created by stone cold killer stream now i picked this one for number one uh, mainly because out of all of these superstars it gave me i'd say the best actual pro wrestler look to it what i mean by that is he looks like a normal dude you know with the he's got a normal well-kempt beard he does have a a, a different hairstyle like it's long for most of it and then half the head is shaved but he looks like a normal dude if he's wearing normal street clothes he would be just a normal guy walking down the street but the second he gets into his ring gear he looks like he belongs on the indies like just the the pants alone they they have special designs on the the kick pads and the knee pads it looks nice one side of it's white and red other side is so little accents of white and red but a lot of it is just black uh, on the pants you can tell you used some of the uh the seth rollin rollins pants on here but he, you know he gave his own little twist to it kind of hid all of the seth rollins stuff that's normally would be on it but it looks amazing and then the entrance attire for it he made it really simple he just put like a aj styles entrance vest on that has the hood and uh, put his own logo in the middle of it where it buckles together. And he even has that logo on his pants. And I, I think this looks literally like the most stereotypical. It kind of looks like Ricochet in a way. You know, he's got the tattoos all on his arms. Got some on his chest. Like, it looks good. It looks really good. You know, he's got that big one on his back. Like, it's... Uh, everything just blends in this. And I, I like when people are realistic with their builds on this game. Uh, like, uh, superstars, I want them to actually look like superstars, you know? I, I do enjoy, like, the, you know, demonic, like, you know, extra stuff. You know, that kind of looks out of this world or, like, unrealistic. Like, I enjoy seeing that type of stuff. But when it comes to, like, me looking for superstars, I enjoy when people actually try to make them look like an actual dude you would see on, like, NXT or AEW Dark or something. <laughs> like, uh, it's, you know, I, I like it a lot. So... 
Thank you so much, guys. I enjoyed this first batch of superstars. I hope you did. Again, if you would like to submit superstars, use hashtag the gaming D when you do upload them to the community creations. I can find them super easy that way. If you don't do it that way, you can go onto my Discord, links in the description, or you can comment on videos. If you know my PlayStation stuff, maybe send me a message, or you can also send me pictures of stuff on Twitter just tweet me and I probably would see that more than anything because I'm on Twitter all the time so thank you so much guys hope you did enjoy please leave a like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video peace